Hello and welcome back to Quests and Chaos. We are in Keys from the Golden Vault. We are playing Reach for the Stars. Uh, and these wonderful players just uh, incidentally kicked off a three-tiered fight that I did not expect them to uh, engage in, uh, in which they uh, managed to, in a quest to recover a star map, uh, they scared a hook horror out of a third floor window, used stars to frighten a ghost back into a room full of star maps, and then just brutally stomped on some creepy mosquito birds, which some of you may know as Sturges. And this is where we are now. You are standing in the um, blood-soaked hallway of the third floor. Um, you have recovered the star map of the Great Snake Constellation that was requested by... Um, Zala. Uh, Zala. 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 I was on the wrong page. By Zala. Um, uh, <laughs> Minwoo is uh, currently invisible, but his things are not. So he is currently uh, naked. All of his things are in a backpack, so he's just a floating sword and trident. Um, Sloane, you are no longer covered in blood thanks to some uh, prestidigitation from your friend Stuart. And Tabalak, you are probably just screaming with rage at this last dead vampire hummingbird thing that you just stopped on. Or not, I don't know. Did I pop more oh. entrails on? Oh, you can fully just like around your boot. Okay. Ugh. What was that? Why did we need to do that? Mm. We're gonna learn a secret. <laughs> Better be one hell of a secret. We'll find out. He puts his <laughs> cane sword back into the sheath and he starts to lean on it heavy. Can I, can I like, can I look at that? Look That's, at what? You, that, you, you can, you can. I need it. No, I, I obviously you need it, but. It's a, what, what do you want to look at? The sword that's inside. Why? Because it's really cool and I want to make one. <laughs> Be gentle. Of okay. course! <laughs> Sloane, like, very gingerly looks at the sword and tries to identify where the latch is. I just like to look over this and try to, like, in oh. my brain, create yeah. a, a blueprint. Yeah. So That's it is a metal reddish crimson brass metal long cane, um, solid cylindrical bottom with a cylindrical top that leads to a wolf head that he uses for the handle, and the latching mechanism is just a simple twist. Amazing. Awesome. Stuart kind of opens the door and prestidigitates any boots that are full of blood. Just <laughs> Is the mask still on the ground? I appreciate it. Um, Was that uh, picked up? Oh yeah, you you see by an open briefcase just clothes coming out <laughs> and slowly being shuffled back <laughs> on Pants boots and just, uh... put the curious snap that back in place and if the mask right. on the ground. I'll just you pick good? it up. Yeah. So that... yeah, nope. Good. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Great. Uh, you have suited back up. You've picked up your map. Um, Stuart, are you going to rejoin them? You can just hang in the. Oh, arm. wait until they come. I'm because I'm closer to the uh, Zala. Oh, because you You're went on that you side. Went that side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. The north side. So many rooms, but yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, you all. Oh, that's right. Because you ducked in. Okay. I'm remembering how things went. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so you all, um... Did we, I'm so sorry. No, go ahead. Did we come in from the northwestern door that's attached to the circular, the same room that's attached to the circular, uh, sorry. tower? Oh, yeah, because there's two entrances. Um, or did we come went, through, we came the through the northmost we door? You came there. from the oh. one that is on the western wall that is just south. Yeah, okay, got yeah, it. That's what cool, I cool, cool. So we haven't been in the northernmost rooms, so the northwest and the mm -hmm. northeast doors. Um, you, the uh, Stuart ducked into the uh, northeastern side. That is the bathroom. Okay, but not but the, the northwest. North, the northwestern you have not been in yet. Okay. If you would like to peek in there and see what's no, no, no. We should get that sweet, sweet secret. Uh, first. Also, um, mm. Stuart comes back in. Uh, there was some doors in the other 
looking at this map, there might be some bookshelves. If we're looking for maybe a little, uh, well, looking for the office. And yes, yeah, we know the, the office, office is, is downstairs. Yeah. Office our downstairs. business is not there. Let's get our secret and get out of here before we have to kill more kids. <laughs> we're not killing any kids. I respect your decision. We're not killing decision. any kids. Okay. <laughs> so let's get on with it. <clears throat> okay. Hmm? What? I just want to make sure we're clear that we're not killing any kids. Kids is a relative term. Any young adult to small child. Age range. <laughs> if they're on their parents' insurance. <laughs> <laughs> we are certainly not killing Kira well, no, they're not, or Xander. They did but I heard that they insurance. get good health insurance here, so yeah. therefore they're not on their health they're not they're not well, insurance. insurance. Although that does bring up a relatively uh, important point, is a resurrection on your ins your insurance. Like, that must be... Well, wait, that must find out totally what, what if they've destroy been, its ductile fight. What if they've been adrift in the Astral Sea for a period of time okay, I think and not having aged? Yeah, um, oh. yeah. hey, Jalo, we, we've got the thing. <coughs> oh. oh, the milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you just hollering up the stairs at her. <clears throat> oh, we're on the third floor, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, yeah, just walking yeah, over. We're moseying that way. Yeah. Well, yeah, you guys have that whole conversation as you meander up the stairs, uh, and she she leaves you. Huh? Sorry? What? Oh. Oh, what's that? Totally. Yeah, I think. Isn't um, she hold out the uh, Hold out the, the, the map. Who are we talking about? Oh, we're oh. talking about this. Zala. Is that Zala? Yeah. Oh my God! You guys got it. How did you How did you convince him to give it? To, he hasn't let me take anything out of that room in ages. He gets all like, Rah! Yeah, yeah, she's, uh, she's uh, gonna be angry. Showed him some other stars. The kid called her a milf. <clears throat> Do you? I'm sorry, what? So that's uh, Yeah, I think uh, the ghost is gonna be very angry. Uh, yeah, I mean, he usually is, but, oh. Well, okay, I mean, I, you know, I, I, you, good, thank you. I really wasn't expecting, look, I get it, I get it. I was a lot more attractive when I was a human and probably a lot easier to talk to, so I understand. I don't have a lot of, Assets working for me anymore, and um, it's rough. I, I mean, also I... have no depth perception because I only have one eyeball, mm. and that's really rough. I mean, I think you're pretty. I think you're gorgeous. I don't know. How you. is this thing communicating <laughs> to us? She's speaking to you it's in mouth. common. Through her mouth. Her mouth full of very sharp teeth. They are almost she as sharp and pointy as the rabbit. Is the mouth under the eye? Yes. <laughs> it's right here, and the eye's right here. Just her eyes are up there, okay. Her eyes are up there. I there. got distracted. Mm. You I... look over at uh, Tomalak, who's kind of like... <laughs> you, you, yeah. you, you, <laughs> she, she's looking at you guys. So what I'm learning is that none of you are monster fuckers, and I'm kind of glad, honestly. That's You're all too young for that. I mean, That's I great. I literally never said that. I'm twice your age. You seem fine. You don't know how old I am. I can <laughs> guess, honey. You're very good. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold out my hand for a high five. <laughs> she will it give has you hands. A tiny oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> it does have hands. Um, she looks and goes, all right, all right. I can clearly see that some of you are not comfortable with this and I respect that. I did promise you a secret. So um, here you go. I, first of all, just, you're not, a, you're not actually, New recruits, are you? No, sorry. Yeah, I don't care. I don't want you all to get stuck doing this thing again. Or like, did did y'all did y'all meet? Hug for hands. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Like, yeah. just don't mess with the extra planar entities. Yeah, no, I you really know what you're getting into. Um, but uh, you got this for me. I'm gonna <laughs> Stop luck thinking out. that way. Yeah. <laughs> just the whole. I mean, again, my um, experience is varied from that. There's a secret door in the wine cellar. Ooh. It goes down to one of the, you know, like, you might call it like a ritual room or something. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd call it a ritual room. Uh, it's down there, and um, you're going to need a password to get into it, but that's one of the places that Marcos hangs out. So if you're looking for that book, which I assume you were actually telling me the truth about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you kind of you kind of just have that, like, of adventurers 
So we they we killed a few of those a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, but you're all still alive so far, so good job. Um, you're gonna need a password. Um, mm -hmm. Crack Lamar. <laughs> Thunder and lightning, window lashes. Okay. Uh, good guess, but no. Uh, uh, Farl Crack. Could you spell that? What language yes. is that in? Uh, that is, uh, I believe it is deep speech. Uh, yeah, I don't. Um, Sorry, I had to. Uh, I am a deep speech speaker. I do have to double check. Oh, you that. can pronounce it then. Sure um, F A R R L apostrophe V H R A K. We're getting that down. Farvrak. I definitely heard Farvrak. Farv. Your accent yeah. needs work, but you're close enough. That yeah, means bathroom. Farvrak. <laughs> Farv. I have the translation. Farv I'm just trying to find it. Oh yes, it is deep speech. It means forever changing. Yeah. You know, like the house. It's been pretty stable so yeah. far. Don't jinx us. I mean, Wait, the hold house on. has been. Yeah, are you still invisible? Uh, I think it's us that have been changing the most. But you know, oh. you never leave the house unchanged. Oh. Shit. Looks at myself. Wait, is this gonna be permanent? Who's talking, by the way? Like, is he always this invis- is the invisibility thing? Like, is that just who we- I didn't want to be rude and ask questions, but okay. Uh, no, Xander and Kira fucked up a potion. Oh, oh. told Xander he's got to check his reagents. He never listens. Mm. He might have been checking something else out. Was it Kira? I think his eyesight is kind of screwy. It's possible. He's not the brightest light bulb in the box. Yeah. <laughs> what's the uh, what, what's the quickest way to the wine cellar? Well, do we still want to check the office and the bedroom first, just in case we get lucky? Well, I mean, if he's down there and we can get rid of him. Uh, sorry. I Are you making a face? Read a bajillion maps. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Can't tell. What does the face look like? Can you describe it to me? I can see the face. No, mind. just, just it's... describe the emotion. That's going to be easier to. What? Do you want to know the fastest way to the wine cellar or not? Yes, yes. sorry. My eyes are kind of squinted right now. <laughs> Confused? Maybe. Just trying to stall for a Kind of sl You know, like when a dog might be constipated? It doesn't <laughs> quite know what it's doing. Yeah. Maybe. So, Something like that. If you go downstairs. Uh, you go through, uh, how familiar are you with the house? We got a map. Great. So if you go down, go through the portrait gallery to the dining room, you go through the dining room into the kitchen, you go from the kitchen into the pantry that's gonna be in the northeastern corner of the first floor. In the pantry, there's some stairs. Those lead you down into the wine cellar. In the wine cellar, you use the secret passcode to open up the door, and that gets you to all the creepy bullshit. There's a temple where we do the worship thing. There's some storage, because of course you keep storage in the ne right next to all your ritual items. And then there's a ceremony room and a ritual room. You know, just normal culty stuff. How many people down there? You think? I have no idea what's currently going on there, but I know that that's where uh, Marcos keeps taking a lot. Look, I, no, I've been I'm, up here. My, I don't know. I'm, I sound like Barry. <laughs> Intentionally. So, uh, don't, so, go, go no, ahead. No, I was just going to say thank you for the information, and hopefully we can try at least to reverse what's happened to you. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I just, I, at this point, I just settle for, uh, you know, just give Marcus a swift kick in the pants and, oh. like, get oh. him to stop summoning shit. Done. Even if you don't kick him, just, like, if you can get the, the whatever, if he's using this book to, like, do the summoning thing and you could make him not do that, that would be great. That would be awesome. As Tomalak walks away, he sheaths his <laughs> sword cane. I thought she was going to say a quick death. And he starts walking down the stairs. <laughs> I mean, it'd be merciful, right? Not, am I the only one? And he echoes so down the stairs. He's the only one. It's, it's uh, yeah. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get this uh, over with, hey, shall we? Sure, are we gonna go straight down? To, straight to down! down. <laughs> That's James. <laughs> yeah, we should go, we should go straight <laughs> down. <laughs> down, uh, down to the first floor, through the uh, the game room. Make sh uh, My alarm smell's not gone off, I take it. Nope. Past the kids. Um, I, there's a back door there, yes. 
I think we can get to the cellar without, without going yeah. through the hallway. I think we can just go straight through whatever room that is on the northeast underneath the cellar stairs. Yeah. Yeah. A, a squire is still going to be around, probably. Uh, so. <laughs> Not in that room, he isn't. <laughs> well, we just don't know. We, we closed the front door, right? Did I, I mean, you just. The front door? I didn't close the front Well, that door. works on the windows. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> and he, okay. he, I think he'd have trouble Bye, Zala. The Bye, have fun. We'll have fun storming the castle. All right, here we go. <laughs> so they were gonna go down into the- First floor? Into the First northwest floor. corner room from the circular mm-hmm. room, Back and then the cross room. into the center room where we yep. found the, the Dragon chest. Yep, set. that room is clear and safe. And then to the right. opposite wall on the northeast side, mm-hmm. in that in that door, we want to check that door. Yep. Yeah, the uh, kitchen, right? That is. You guys are on the second floor. Side? First floor. We are on the second first floor. Is where we're going down the worst. Yeah. We're going down the worst. Oh, my apologies. That's fine. Well, I was gonna say, if you're doing that on the second floor, that is, you know, that is Marcos's bed. bedroom yeah. with a big X on it. Tom walks in front, <laughs> and he is on the first floor. Sorry, I, I, yeah, I would have. Com- I, I'm sorry, I meant no. the first floor because we talked no, about going that's to the fine. first floor. My apologies. No, 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 that's fine. Uh, again, there's a lot of maps happening. Yes. yes. So yeah, you go down um, to the first floor. Yeah. So you can pass under that balcony area into that door, and that leads you directly into the kitchen. Yay! Sniffs around. Is there anything? In the pantry. This or, large kitchen uh, is in poor condition. Flies cover foul smelling messes of several meals stacked on a uh, table in the middle of the room. Apparently, these college interns are very bad at cleaning up after yeah, yes. interns. Mm. Impressive digitation. <laughs> smells like this milk. is how you get that turned into monsters. Is, that smells horrible. Um, but yeah, okay. other than the fact that um, these guys have made a lot of boxes of craft mac and cheese and have not cleaned up after themselves, um, this nothing seems particularly otherwise awful about this kitchen. Did no one teach these kids how to clean up did, after cooking uh, it? Like, they didn't even smoke, they didn't even soak the pots. It's going to stain now. Did no one teach them how to properly make macaroni and cheese? You can't just make that shit from a box. Is this you in, gotta, a, in a volume enough that I can do purify food? Can I fix this? You would have to scrape out several very gross I'm not cleaning you say that. it together. Yes. <laughs> Tomahawk is using his hand to kind of scrape one of the pots. Oh, it smells fine to me. <laughs> ah, no! Purify it! Okay. Oh, you purify before? I purify it. Ah, cheese. <laughs> That's cheese. No, it's not really cheese. It's just a powder. Wait, it's stuck to the side of the pot. It's cheese. It's cheese powder. Like it's in a parm state, I yeah. think. It's in a dried... Sloan is deeply offended by uh, cheese. It just now only has the good bacteria as opposed to the bad bacteria. It smells like cheese. Tastes like cheese. It's... Jeez. You really gotta come over. I gotta make you macaroni and cheese. Okay. Pizza. Oh, look, the pantry. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart, keeping us on task. Uh, Stuart opens the uh, door to the pantry. The pantry is well stocked, and the foodstuffs here haven't spoiled yet. Um, the sack of potatoes rest against the east wall next to stairs that lead into the wine cellar. We don't throw one at somebody's face. Potatoes, you see. Yeah. Some boiled potatoes. Improvised no. one. You can mash them too. I would like to put a potato into the Boiler. briefcase of holding. Absolutely. Okay. Are you saving that for later? Add that to your inventory. Of course! Yeah, I'm, I guess it seems like it's a custom of this part. Take a potato, Shout. put it in my pocket. That you is. Know. We could use some of that cheese and make scallop potatoes. <laughs> okay, <Right>. so <laughs> is there is there any kind of like. A, um, I'm taking potatoes. Do I just see the stairs? Are the stairs just there? The stairs are just there. Wait, is there just a bag full of potatoes? Yes, there's just I'm a just bag taking full of the rest of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I've got about two potatoes. Okay, I got one potato. I can't believe you guys are going to make me homebrew a weaponized potato. Oh no, I'm fully gonna bake this potato when I get home and eat it. <laughs> it's yeah, probably on Holga's character sheet. I'm probably I gonna looked, eat it like an not. apple. Devin, no, no Devin, not potatoes thing. are good eaten. Yeah. That's true. Uh, uh, last a couple weeks, easy. And he used his purify, so he's not going dumpster diving anytime soon. I'd like to listen down the stairs, see if I hear anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, give me perception check. For the Fonzies. For the Fonzies? Am I jumping a shark? Can I, uh, uh, might be, depending. <laughs> 16, please. And can I listen as well? Uh, yes, absolutely. Less than a 16. <laughs> cool. Um, how much less? 
uh, 12. Cool. Um, you guys do both hear um, some rhythmic chanting. Okay. Sounds like pretty stock, like, yep, there's a cult in here. Am I like, able to identify one voice, two voices, multiple voices? Several. Several voices. Not, not sure how many. It's like a big Beach Boys harmony down there. Yeah, except for more discordant and creepy. Do we want to go back and look for robes? Do we want to be robed? No. I, no mm-hmm. Okay. We can just say we're new or something. I'm ask, pretty go sure. Go down there, ask where the robes are. I'm pretty sure if we're bursting in on a ritual, they know we're not in it. Wait. <laughs> well, and, I mean, um, that's the thing, though. Kira and Xander weren't working, or, <laughs> or they're not down there at the time. Tomalak so. uh, kind of pushes past everybody as you see him roll his sleeves up and there emanates like a little glow from the tattoo on his arm and it spreads over his body and he looks like Xander now as his disguised self. But he looks slimmer, but you can still feel him pushing past <laughs> you in his normal size. Nice. All right, and the, and the, the beams on the stairs are giving <laughs> under the wing. Oh my God. <laughs> that works. Uh, <coughs> that works. <laughs> lead lead uh, the way, off. Xander. Oh, man, yeah. I wish I would have. Mm. You, you, <laughs> okay. you got new new recruits. Mm-hmm. New interns. Cool. Uh, Do you want to intro yourself? Sure. Okay. I'll, I'll sneak and then when we get caught, that's the story. We're sticking to it. Yeah. You head down the stairs into the wine cellar. The faint aroma of grapes fills the air in the cellar. Four large wine casts casks stand against the west wall, a fine layer of dust covering each of them. Ooh. The three wine racks to the south are empty. Mm. But there's one more wine? that's not. There's a, there's. There's a, it says there's four casks and three racks. So casks full, racks empty. Okay. There's no no bottles. bottles. No bottles. Just casks. Pity. Um, everybody give me a perception check. It's a low DC, don't panic. <laughs> oh, 16. 19. Beans. Is that I never got my cock? one. I feel like that's cock. That's cock. Uh, 15. Yeah, that's cock. I, I'd say I take that. I don't know. That's a that is yeah. cock. That's a 14. Okay, I need consensus. That's a 14. I've got two that 14. it's face up. Not cocked. Not cocked. Okay. You all are very quickly able to see that one of these casks, the like dust on it, clearly has like a ton of handprints in it from getting like scooched out of the way. And you can see like the track of the floor of like moving it out of the way and then shoving it back and then moving it out of the way and then shoving it back. Um, they went this way. Do we, do we, oh, you do that? I didn't yeah, know. you slide it out of the way and you can see the cracks in the wall that lead to the secret door. Okay. Um, so we're gonna come out here. Tamalak, yeah. No, um, yeah. we're in that, the four circular things. We're going into the next room to the left. No, 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 not the circular thing. No, 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 no. This one yeah, here. we're, so the, the, cast, the four casts. The three shells. Yeah, yeah, so. So we're going into this one. Yeah. Right yeah, yes. Yeah. You're gonna go in the one that. Uh, the what, center room. I should make sure that I'm looking. Yeah, the one that has the like pews, pews in it. Yeah. 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 The church room. We're going in through the top or the bottom? There's only the one top, right? on oh. the bottom here. You, that's not a door. Yeah, that's we're going in through Where? one of the casks. Oh, okay. You're going in through one of the casks. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Well, or you can go in through one of the casks. Here's the thing. Do any of you remember the password? Because you're going to need that regardless. Yeah. Uh, funnel cake. Well, someone can actually pronounce it. I thought it was from Apple. I remember because it's deep, deep speech. Yes. Yeah. This is actually really funny. Um, it shows that door on, or that thing, it shows it as a door on my map as well. That is not the secret door. <laughs> the secret door is behind the casks. This is a peek in the module. So I don't know why they put a door there because there isn't one because the only way to get into the temple is through the secret door with the password. Ah. So uh, proofread <laughs> your stuff before it goes to print, friends. Anyway. You move the cask out of the way. I, After a couple of attempts, uh, you are able to mutter funnel cake and <laughs> the, uh, the door. I Bag grab him and woo by the shirt and I just kind of lift him back and I. All oh, right. Yep. Yep. Four wooden pews face a stone statue in the middle of this torchlit chamber. The statue has a roughly bipedal shape and is carved to look like it's coming undone, like a frayed rope. 
Its form is covered with mouths and outstretched tongues. Standing before the statue are four purple cloaked figures, their faces hidden by cowls. They are writing on pieces of paper and muttering to each other, oblivious to your presence. This is the chanting you have heard. It's just them. It is that very rhythmic tonal, you know, chanting of a prayer, an invocation, a something. They are absolutely oblivious to the fact that you all have come into the room. Have I, like you entered first? Yes. Roll me a d4. D4? Yes. Four. Four. Um, as you look around, you see uh, suddenly just materialize, like in midair, kind of between where the statue is and these uh, uh, chanters are, a shadow that sort of like warps and twists, like it's trying to find the shape of what it's meant to be. It pulses in the air and suddenly like you all hear, it's not really a scream. It's more that it's almost like you get a rush of static. Like if you had turned a TV past channel three, briefly, you get that just in your heads. And let's see who this is gonna hit. There's five of you what? plus four of them. It's a random thing. Um, and suddenly you see just like a, like a, a blast of like, just like dark energy just hits one of the cultists in the chest and kind of goes, hoo, 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 and the shadow dissipates. The uh, guy takes a second to kind of recover, sort of like coughs or whatever, and then quickly tries to get back into sync with the chanting of the others. Um, their backs are turned to us. You're kind of coming in from the side. I look at... So they're kind of to the side, but they're absolutely not looking at you. They're uh, all focused on the statue. I look at, oh, they're all focused on the statue, which is kind of in their periphery, but like not quite. So y they're facing the statue, yeah. chanting to it. You guys would be kind of in the periphery. All right, so um, I look at Min Wu and I just- uh, Eyes are over here. <laughs> I go. <laughs> oh. Looks. Inward, you just see the leather curious lean in. You're still invisible. It's only it's been yeah. it's an hour, yeah. so it's. I'm gonna it's, yeah, I'm gonna say that this lasts a little longer because it's significantly funnier if it goes away at a much more interesting time. You so. still make it? No, no, I put no, on no, clothes. No, he's right. Um, and Tomalak assumes that he he's winking at a at a wall and oh, no. walks right up to one of them and what? looks, so there's four of them, but there's one still catching his breath, so there's essentially three people chanting. There's three people chanting and, and one who's sort of like coughing and trying to get back in the rhythm, but hasn't- In your head, before yet. you do anything, should I get behind one of them? Here in your- Oh, uh, Minwoo's gonna slit one of their throats as soon as I distract, uh, do the same. I can I pick can someone. Hit one. Okay. So he goes across to the ones that yeah, are kind of facing good. their like. periphery, and he looks at the. He, it's kind of like someone like at church trying to overlook your hymnal uh -huh. yeah. and read at you. Um, and as he puts his hand on the chanting paper and pushes it out of the guy's hand. Uh, 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 what? What? I just. Uh, what? What are you doing, Xander? What the? Fuck? I thought you were working upstairs with Kira. We're just taking notes. Pulls out his cane and slices the guy's, and takes it uh, across the throat. All right, everybody, roll initiative. <laughs> Is that good? Do I get a surprise <laughs> attack? Nice. Do we get to act upon that as well? Absolutely not. I will let you have the one what? surprise round. You were round. supposed to get in. They were like in place. <laughs> Absolutely not. These guys were taking notes, and you jumped a bunch of college students. Roll initiative. <laughs> you do All not. Right. You do not get a freebie on that. Fifteen plus five is a, a natural. A natural twenty. Uh, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty will hit. That's going to be eight points of damage right across the upper chest throat area is what he was aiming for. Um, You hit this guy hard and he like collapses to his knees and looks at me and he's like, Sarah, what the fuck? Doesn't say anything. Um, As every, 
But as everybody else in this room immediately starts scrambling through their robes for the. You should weapons. say something like, you always knew it would come to this. <laughs> now we roll initiative? Yep, roll initiative. You could have just walked straight by these guys. You did not have to fight them. But now you do. Um, 25 to 20. <sighs> I thought everybody was going to be like in play. We would have taken like two of them. Easily. Uh, 20 to 15. 19. Fifteen to ten. Thirteen. All right. Uh, I have. Shoot. Uh, nine. Eight. Eight. What do you get? Six. <laughs> okay. We're going to kill some college kids. Not not children. They, they are technically adults and can make their own choices. Yes, they can. Said young adults. No, no. They are off their parents' health care plan. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> Do you recall that being? <laughs> um, cool. Uh, Sloan, that is your turn. You see now these cultists have turned uh, clocked you guys and are fumbling for their swords. In my best impression of Kira's voice, I'm going to yell, Emily, Mindy, Sam, Keith, run! You remember their names. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Make me a persuasion check with advantage because nice. you remembered their names. Get out of here! <laughs> I just heard it. They're right here. Then you should remember it. Mindy. Um, you get to roll that four again because you had your pen. No, I'm just kidding. But your pencil was in there. That's really. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you said persuasion. Persuasion with advantage. How about a fourteen? A fourteen. Plus situation. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I would yeah. like to use a bit. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Because we're not gonna murder college students today. Th this one is under my knife is pretty screwed. Uh, <laughs> Sixteen. Not dead yet. Cool. Sixteen. Um, pretty good. Uh, what is what is your desired outcome for this? I want them to run for their lives, and I don't want them to die. So I don't want them to stay and fight. I want them to leave. Um, I think I think seeing the situation, hearing that, assessing, they don't quite know where that voice came from. They do think that they just saw one of their bros just straight up try to murder one of their other bros. Like Sam is bleeding out on the floor. So um, <laughs> the other three are going to turn and uh, look at each other and just be like, Fuck me, it's not worth it. Uh, and they are going to run for the secret door. Fuck you! Yeah! Um, I was worried they're gonna run into the room with the super wizard. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Nobody wants to go talk to that guy. I don't know if okay. you figured that out. Uh, super wizard. Uh, no, they are going to book it for the secret door that uh, I assume you guys probably left open behind you because uh -huh. you weren't getting mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, they're gonna immediately start bailing. Uh, Minwoo. Yeah, Minwoo charges in. Oh no, it looks like Xander has been corrupted by the rituals that are happening. And it's just going to <laughs> do a golf swing with his trident on, who do I have? Or we've got either Sam or Keith under. Sam, Sam. is the one who is Sam. bleeding out at Tamalak's feet. Golf swing, hopefully non-lethal, and poof, try to knock him out. I am, well, I'm not invisible. Whoa, my, my clothes. You're, mostly, you're, yeah. you're a ghost right now or something. Oh, run, kids, run, smack. They run right past everyone. These, these kids are sick. <laughs> Waiting in the hallway. It's like, well, I, I got technically into... I should probably be giving you guys a tax of opportunity, but they're so low in the initiative order, I don't know if it's worth it, so. Solid. That's solid, yeah, that's a, that's a nat one. Gorgeous. Um, You strafe by his head, but he kind of rolls his eyes back like he might pass out anyway. Ah, crap. Um, that's gonna be Stuart's turn. I'm going to pick him up mm -hmm. onto his feet. Is he like dead? 
Uh, one would say that um, as long as you had a strength score of slightly higher than zero, you could punch him and kill him if you wanted to. And I will just turn him around and push him towards the Go. door. He will start staggering that direction upon his turn, which it is right now. So we're having Sam and Keith go on the first one, and we'll have Mindy and Emily go on the second. Uh, they uh, are going to just run. Keith is going to grab Sam and like haul, and they're just going to haul ass uh, for the secret door. Okay. Uh, Devin. <laughs> is, that, is that all of them? Uh, that's the first two. Sam and Keith are in the lead. Mindy and Emily are bringing up the rear. They've got scimitars that they have pulled out, but they are- But are they moving towards- They're, they're running. They were told to run. They don't know what's going on. They just got attacked out of nowhere, seemingly by one of their own. They want to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I want- The healthcare's not that good. No, no yeah. healthcare is there. <laughs> healthcare doesn't cover, uh, revivify. <laughs> we're dead. Mm. You know. Like there might be a diamond in here, but I don't, probably just like one. <laughs> Healthcare covers everything a good night's rest covers. <laughs> <laughs> what if you guys stole the wallet from walls from Xander and Kira? You can look at what the PPO is. <laughs> <laughs> Fully, I'm going to look at that later. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh, you're not doing anything. You're nope. Just gonna watch this happen. Cool. Uh, Emily and Mindy, bringing up the rear, uh, are gonna, you know, sh like shove the boys through and kind of turn around, kind of like like checking in with you guys and just do a scan. And one of them just kind of looks and is just like, "We'll stop him." Run. Go! What the? Okay, okay. There's ghosts in this building now I, we too. Know. What is the library? I this There's another one it. right here. Run, children, you, run. You hear from inside, one of the guys from inside the Wednesday the, the, already just goes, that's the last time I take your advice at a summer internship, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Poor decisions, Emily. Uh, Tim, like, that is your turn. Do you want to do anything? You certainly have enough movement to close the gap to the door if you want to. He just watches them scurry <laughs> past and when they turn around. <laughs> He just kind of waves at them as they like, go into the distance as Xander. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's just like, well, we did it your way. We don't kill kids. I don't see any dead kids here. <laughs> There's a large pool of blood on the floor. Uh, perhaps we should kill a wizard, though. What if he's a kid? <sighs> what if he's a kid? Yeah. He's a kid who fully understands what the fuck he's doing. That's Whoa. why. Oh, okay. And these are... These are fucking children. They don't get it. They don't know what they're doing. They're being manipulated. they being manipulated with fucking healthcare. <laughs> like, who the fuck does that? That's so low. I mean, a lot of college systems use that to ensnare... I hear the, That's what I'm saying. The city watch and the army recruit with free healthcare. Mm-hmm. And yeah, pretty good yearly. recruiting. Yeah. If you stay for at least five years. Free education as well. It's quite nice. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know. I hope it, this wizard isn't a child, because we're gonna. <laughs> okay, look, I have time. no problem. No, I'm just saying, if this wizard is a child, we'll be right then to he's a fully conundrum. aware what of what he's doing. Tomahawk. He's ruining the lives of everybody around him. I mean, I think he's possessed. Because well, I mean, no were, one in their right mind does this horrible, shit. Yeah, I mean, right? come on, it doesn't that take that much common sense Tomahawk to not do that. Tomahawk the cane swords. Look at this. He's, he's, he's learned a lesson, and he's got a cool story to tell at the pub later. So he'll never do this scar again. too. And a scar. Chick stick scars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it. Okay. I really hope. Okay. So I'm just, <laughs> just gonna walk past <laughs> into that like weird little tiny hallway. What did I say? <laughs> through the double doors, just kick them open. What? Really? <laughs> Describe a child wizard to us. Yeah. Um, Is it woo ya? <laughs> this whole time I'm just like, God, I'm glad the last last uh, module was the crossover module, or we'd be really scared. <laughs> um, you kick open the first set of double doors into the vestry. This is a dusty chamber with four unlocked wooden trunks, each of which contains a bunch of cult robes. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> pop them on. We all, momentary yeah. confusion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Says the invisible guy. Yeah, I'll take one. Put it oh, on. With... <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 Okay. No, no, no. no. Uh, do you continue kicking through doors. You don't like purple. Yeah. I'm why, just kicking through the next wait, set of doors. Why don't we take these robes and put them on? At least give us an advantage on the wizard with the codex. What if uh, putting on the robe is uh, they're magical? 
How do they to protect? My, are they, are they dirty? They, no, they're clean. Okay. They're a little rumpled, but they're clean. Somebody didn't know how to fold them really well, but they are clean. I mean, they're just ro- they're just robes. Here, I, I'll take a I'll take a dagger. Put, you put one on first. Let me show you. Easy. I'll take a dagger and slice it open. Does it cut open? Uh, yeah, you cut into a robe. It's not magical. I mend it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Slow. Uh, yeah. There's there's it's nothing gone. magical about these robes. Okay. Uh, you are definitely getting like wafts of magic now that you've got to type magic up. You've got wafts of magic coming uh, from like under the door, the next set of doors. God, it smells in there. Yeah. Oh my God. Put it under it. I don't yeah. notice anything. Uh, you pop up with the next set of doors. Do you want an actual robe or just yeah. an illusion robe? I, yeah. Because the actual robe would be like. Perch. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. No, this be a little hanky. Uh, I'll yeah. hang back in case I'm, you can detect that. I am ready to shoot a lightning launcher at. Yeah, you can have that prepared. You kick open the next set of doors. Iron brackets bolted to the walls hold four sputtering torches that cast this otherwise empty room in dim light. On the far side of the room, a spiral staircase descends into darkness. From below, you hear a human voice chanting in a blasphemous tongue. Is that more deep speech? French. Yeah, it's absolutely <laughs> French. It is It is deep speech with a terrible oh. French accent. <laughs> you the Ben Marcus de Fay. I um, should have said that, I'm committed to it. Omni de Fromage. Heading down the stairs. Heading down the stairs. Yep, I'm tromping I'm down stealth. the stairs, fully fully ready. I'm not stealthing, I'm ready. No, you, you, you're done. Do you don't have a robe on? No. Okay. You have a robot. I have a robot. I'm still in disguise, so. Yeah. You have a robot? I'm invisible. <laughs> you have a robot. I do have a robot. Okay. I'm invisible. <laughs> the staircase. I'm, needs... like, I'm so sorry. I told her she needed an appointment. We tried to stop her. Yeah. Who's she? They. They. Cool. Got it. The staircase leads to a roughly circular cave that is empty and unlit. Opposite the stairs, through a wide archway, you see a similar cavern lit by purple light emanating from four large crystals jutting from the floor. All crystals flicker in concert with the chanting that echoes through the caves. The chants come from a sallow, dark-robed figure who stands near the edge of a circle of arcane runes inscribed on the floor. The figure recites an eldritch passage from a book, then carefully sets the book atop a wooden crate near the back wall. The figure turns toward the circle, where he kneels a headless body in plate armor. A slug-like creature has attached itself to the body's neck, almost like a makeshift head. The slug's form is covered with mouths and eyes that open and close in and out of existence. Yeah. That is disgusting. And that's why this chapter comes with warnings. Thank you for the warnings. So, let's- Holy that shit. That is not a proper head substitution. Uh, there are I two something items in there. Appropriately creepy, so I picked something appropriately creepy. Yeah, yeah. All right, so oh, um, marching order. I called the rear. Sloan coming in first. This does not have to be exactly the scale. This is mostly okay. just to get over to where you guys can see. You're I'll, in the back. I'll be in front. Yeah. I'll be towards the front as well. Second. Looks like slugs on the menu, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so all three of you guys are sure trying mm-hmm. to keep up. In a diamond formation. There we go. We're in. This doesn't super matter. It's just to kind of establish where everybody's going to be. It's like a boy band. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you see. You need to dance. You see this sucker uh, over here chanting. When um, yo raja, yo chanting raja. And then you see a headless body with a creepy slug thing attached to it uh, in the center. Mm-hmm. I did not have any kneeling human figures, so you get that instead. Can I? Are they looking in our direction? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Are they aware of our presence? Let's find out. Huh. That's good. Because uh, you guys you declared that you were dropping in without. No, it's Wait, what's your passive, buddy? What's your passive, buddy? Um, as you guys come in, uh, you see uh-huh. the robed figure does look up and look towards you. Um, and just kind of, just kind of hisses at you. Just kind of looks at it and just like it's, it's straight up like when you turn the light on on the cat and it's not prepared. And you just the, like, <laughs> he does exactly that. Like he's in the middle of this ritual and he's simply just like. <sighs> We're here to hear about the healthcare plan. Can't you see I'm busy? 
We're not doing French, we're not doing it. <laughs> oh. Parlez comme on, right? Huh? Et uh, comment allez-vous? Um, la chienne um, sur la table. Brain. Ah, uh, can I? Sentence? <laughs> can I Side sentence? Quick or he's gonna get the first action. Yeah, no, that's. Are we that. in initiative? You're can going I, to be momentarily. Can I, I give you guys one shot? To I, I would, game. I would definitely like to launch an opal at Marcos. Yes, yeah. because you had it already declared that you had it prepared. I'm gonna let you take that, and then we will roll an initiative. Uh, thank you. There is no surprise around here for a day. Oh! Natural 20! We're at 25! Crit, crit, that's my crit, initiative. Crit. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely gonna hit him. Okay. I wish that were my initiative. That would be so good. No, I don't want that one. That one was face up like a six. I'll take the two. <laughs> no, the two. Yeah. Yeah! Fuck! Yes! That's a nine. Nine points of damage. <laughs> See? I will People never do it thing. any other way again. Thank you. Don't you it's simple odds. On a crit? Simple odds. Fuck! Up. Wait, do you, should I roll or should I just double what I have? Double it. Um, however you like to do it. You can roll, you can roll double the amount of dice or you can. So uh, that's. Just double your number. 12, 13, 14, 15 short. points of damage. Hmm? 15 yeah. points of damage. On Marcos. The hypothetical How? question. That hurts. Yeah, we're serious about this healthcare. Yeah, I think I think Sloane just stomps into the room and just like just takes their gauntlet and launches a, an opal at Marcos and it attaches to his face. Just like Yeah. And he's just like, oh, what the what? Uh, and now we will roll initiative. Ah <laughs> shit. It was hanging up there, but it rolled a five. Uh-huh. Uh, plus two, so to say. Okay. Two. Damn it. 25 to 20. 22. Oh, uh, no. Uh, 20 to 15. 19. 19 as well. 18. Because I don't complicate uh, things. Plus three. Oh, so you go first. Uh, Seven. Cool. Uh, let me. It was roll. like hanging and then it was. Yeah, let me roll for Buddy. I thought his name was Marcus. Marcos. Yeah, but there's a buddy buddy. His first name was Marcos. Marcos Buddy. Marcos is Del <laughs> You know, the mansion that he lives in. Buddy Del Mansion. mansion. Gosh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to reach if he has any bonuses to his initiative beyond the usual. Okay. Great. Great, great, great. Um Minwoo. Yeah, Barbara. just gonna start walking forward, place a trident on his back, pull out the longbow, and just take a shot. Would you like to take movement all the way up to here? Yeah. Are we gonna ask how old he is? How old does he look as he hissed at us? You can't tell by just by looking. Um, it, he looks like an adult man. <laughs> You're really um, sticking to this no killer kid. He kids. definitely, look, it, you made a very strong point of it. Uh, th he does also look, he's got the crazy eyes. So uh, those of you who are like, maybe he's possessed, that's not an invalid theory. He's got the wee woo happening. <laughs> we get possessed all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't tell just by, I mean, how old do you think I am? This is, this is a grown adult man. There is, there is no world in which this is a child. Dirty 20 for five points of damage. Dirty 20 for five points of damage. You hit the man or the slug? Uh, the man. Okay. Nice. I think the slug's just an innocent victim in all of this. <laughs> to be clear, again, this is a head, or a, a body in which the head has been chopped off, and there is a slug attached to where the brain stem should be attaching. Uh. Uh, like, I just really want to drive home what's actually going mm -hmm, on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Thank you for that visual. Because I don't have the correct mm. minis, and I need to make it even worse for you. I love it. S did anything else? Yeah, fire that off, drop the bow to the side, and then grab the trident and get ready. Cool. Uh, Stuart. Stuart is going to move up and kind of get, uh, let's see. You have 30 feet, so you can get up to. Oh, bonus action dash. To high, no, uh, I'm gonna get behind the the boxes. Yep, and right before I get behind them, shoot a bow at Marcos. Yep, and then finish my movement hiding. 
Oh, oh, I know what to nice. do it at the end of your turn. You're gonna hide. Hey. Hey, 24 to hit. That's just taking cover. Um, that'll hit. Okay. Five, five points of damage, piercing. Hey, buddy really should have put his mage armor on sooner, but you all are rolling so high. One more time, five? Five. Okay. Sorry, I was being distracted at how god awful <laughs> this guy's AC is for being, you know, a spooky guy. Cool, anything else? Cool, you're a hiding. Uh, Sloan, with Devin on deck. Um, just for flavor, because I think it's fun. Of course. Uh, Sloan is gonna kneel down for a second and flip a switch on their boots, and their boots are gonna kind of glow and vibrate a little bit. Um, and they would like to move 35 feet toward Marcos and Icky Guy, and launch another uh, opal at Marcos. Cool. It's fucking awesome. Uh, twenty-four. Twenty-four hit Marcos. Yes. Then I'm gonna start rolling like shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, seven points of. Oh, actually, I get two d six because I've hit him twice. Oh yeah. And they connect. Yep. So it hits him in the arm. So he's got one on his face, one on his arm, and they kind of like chain and Oh, z- 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 sweet. Yeah, you are straight up taser gunning him. Uh okay, so that was 13 points of damage. God. And <laughs> that's it. Wrecked him. I Just I'm trying him. to I'm literally trying to tase him. Yeah, no, no, no. To he's like, casting a spell. He's probably no boy, longer casting spell, right? like Okay. Probably. Controlling that slug. It's not even his turn yet. Devin. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> covering myself with more stars. Okay. Put armor faith on myself, and then I'm double moving up towards stuff. So that's 60. Mm-hmm. That's, so here's 30, yeah. and then do you want to go to the side? Do you want to go straight? Straight. Not, I want to keep five feet away from the slug. So I'll, once I get towards the slug, I'll circle around. Which direction? Devin just uh, runs straight <laughs> towards, uh, No, more towards the wizard. I think I feel like that side. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Brace yourself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. More else? like Jingle Jangle <clears throat> from the ring mail. <laughs> Which is glowing with stars again. I love it. It's He's got amazing. his momentum going. Yeah. Uh, choo, 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 choo. Uh, okay. Jola, and bunny up. shield up in front. Bunny shield up in front, obviously. Yeah, bunny shield. It's gorgeous. Um, Where has he gone? Yeah, right? Uh. Where have all the bunnies gone? Oh, he's going to eat the slug. Ooh. I bet he loves slugs. <laughs> all Sorry. we need is a codex, right? We just snag it, and then the bunny gets us out of here. Interesting. Right. This no. is. Okay. Uh, maybe. I feel like I'm missing a crucial. Is he holding it? Piece of information what? about the, the stat block. The codex. No, he put it down behind me. He's on that crate time. back there. Oh, he put it down. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you see, he is going to continue chanting <clears throat> as in each hand he summons an orb, which he is then going to eat. Oh, those uh, are concentrating on. In the general directions of you guys, as he chants a little bit louder, his accent has gotten worse. You think that maybe he learned deep speech from like one of those exchange program mm. tapes oh, from France, so that's why the accent. <laughs> that's why he doesn't have it. But it, yeah, it's it's rough. It's for for sewer. You can barely understand what he's you saying. <laughs> um, Objection. Uh, he is going to fling one of them at Devon. That is. What is the plus on this? That is a 13. That is not going to hit you. Yay. And then he is going to fling another for a dirty 20 uh, at at Sloan. Yeah. Because you shot him a bunch. Yeah. That um, makes sense. So that is going to do 10 damage. Is this an attack? This is a attack. This is a ranged spell attack. Uh, you watch as Minwoo's trident flashes out, and you take one damage as it is reduced by nine. I intercept it. Hey! Catch it! What? That is oh, wild. Yeah. Amazing. Nice. Thanks. I've been waiting 
all both match <laughs> fights and just like, must stand by people. Must stand by people. Come on. Come you on. You get my glory in here today. I think you Sloan's just, like <laughs> fully ready to take that and just goes, huh? Don't worry, kid. I got you. Oh, thanks, man. Beautiful. Um, he continues chanting, uh, and that is Tamalak's turn. Uh, Tamalak runs forward, then uses his extra actions to just like straight dash ahead. So I guess 60 feet. Cool. And as he's running, he unsheathes the cane sword and he's just like, I don't give a shit how old this guy is. <laughs> It's right there. Oh, you could totally kill this one. And that, um, can I action surge? If you haven't used it yet today. Yeah. Well, oh, you're going for the slug. <clears throat> and he wants to swipe at the slug's head, attempting to decapitate it. Okay. Nice. Uh, that is normally. I missed action. with the child. <laughs> oh, yes, that hung up, and then it went to a 24. Yeah, that is absolutely gonna hit this that thing. That was almost a nine. I didn't call fucking, oh, damn it. I was gonna use my uh, maneuvers, but I didn't, my superiority dice. Oh, seven plus three, that's 10 points of damage to the slug head. You sever this horrible slug off of the neck of this thing and remove its ability to enact. Yeah. Whoa! The exact number of HP that this thing has if the ritual does not complete. Hey! And he's staring at the, uh, with... Marcos fully does the, like, no! <laughs> um, How old are you? <laughs> It's not about the age, okay? It's seven and I've waited my whole life for this moment. That's uh, Minwoo, turn. that's your turn. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> uh, let's do 30 feet up, see where that gets me. Uh, this way? Uh, straight on. Yeah. Oh, okay, well. Well, I... Hoped you were waiting for something more interesting than this, and I will huck my trident straight at his face. Great. That oh thing? no. Whee! Oh. <laughs> you huck your trident straight in his face, and it just, you said, it's like you notice that your hand isn't there, and it's just like, what? Yeah. And it sort of like, uh, wings you to the side. Wow, that was, is there a draft in here or something, or? That's okay, man. It happens. Cool. Well, uh, pulls out the short sword and, <laughs> and revs up. Excellent. Uh, uh Stuart, that is your turn. Stuart's just going to um uh, take a position on the my side of the boxes and hold an action uh, to shoot yeah. my bow as soon as there's a com uh, an enemy, uh, an ally next to it. Cool. Waiting for a sneak attack. As soon as you have advantage. Yes. yes. As soon as I get sneak attack. Absolutely. Yep, you are posted up and ready. Uh, Sloan, that is your turn. I'm gonna move uh, I would like to move 10 feet towards Stuart. Pardon me. Blessings. Uh, yeah, I could stay within the same plane though. I'm okay with that, like uh, diagonally. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's perfect. Right. Um, just kind of trying to like get a clearer, is that a clearer shot? No. I think that's a less that's clear shot. That's a less clear <laughs> shot. more clear shot where Did you Did I? Go. Oh, yes, I see, because Tomalock's right there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I just want to get a clear shot on him and I'm gonna launch another opal at him. Do, yeah, go for it. Five feet this way in your... Yeah, um, 14? Uh, There's a D6 right here. Yeah. A 14? Yeah. He's a wizard, why are you wasting yeah, that's right. his wizard AC? Oh, and he didn't even cast mage armor yet. Ah, uh, you already oh, chucked uh, it. Yeah, well, it's already on my side of the table, so it's mine now. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, better than a 14. What is that, a 20? Worth. 20, 
It'll hit. No. That's a 19. That's a 19. Oh, it doesn't hit. hit. Okay. <laughs> um, he did not activate his major. Is he an elf? I'll so now Sigma. it's 3d6. <laughs> because there. So this one hits him in the leg. Um. Are they low? Is you really low? should take those off. 16 points of damage. But as the three opals connect and like. <laughs> Uh, you see this guy fully crackles and like a cartoon villain, you like see his skeleton flash through the electricity <laughs> as he just like, uh, and that was the most oh. unsatisfying <laughs> short fight. No, yeah. disadvantage. He's, uh, oh. he's dead, yeah, y'all. He's and I just, I want to use the rest of my movement to just stomp up to him. Yeah, you guys are out of combat because he's dead. You Pull out his ID and check his age. <laughs> Take off the opals. <laughs> Stack them back in. Stack them back in. Uh, Tomalock looks around for anything of value. Book. Oh yeah, and the book. <laughs> oh yeah. Also the, <laughs> the purpose we are here for. Um, the slug thing, it's not moving, right? Just making sure. No, no. You have killed everything in this room yeah, just quite for handily. Safety, just... I'll join Tomalock in the investigation. Uh, yeah. Same if I can. Yeah, sure. Everybody give me investigation checks. Yeah, let's get this with this Why? negative one. Let's nice. go. Wow. Watch. <clears throat> oh, okay, not bad. Lucky number 13. 13? 18? Jesus. 14. 14. Five. Five. Um, uh, Devin, you suddenly feel that little tingle in the back of your brain and immediately are looking around to see if his lordship has returned. Oh, I'm expecting him to be sitting on top of the tome on the crates. Um, the rest of you take a moment, look around this room. You see that there are some books and scrolls and things, um, you know, like around here. Some of them might be of value, might be like spell scrolls or something like that. It would take you a minute. But the thing you guys are all very immediately drawn to is that book that he was reading and set down on these crates mm -hmm. as you guys were coming in, which is this massive leather bound tome with this crazy like celestial tooling in the leather. Um, this looks very much like it is something that would be called a celestial code. Yeah, if no one else was, uh, Devin would be beelining towards that. Yeah. Sloan comes towards where I'm at, I assume, to grab some, and I just grab the wrist as, as they go to grab the object in front of me. Why? The fucking scroll. Mine. <laughs> Yours. He points to the other side of the room. Okay, I'll go to the opposite side of the room. <laughs> cool. Um, a lot of these, uh, I'll just give this to you now because I will forget otherwise. Once you have a chance to go through them, a lot of them are benign. It's just informational. Um, but uh, I got a deed out of one of them in the campaign. A or B? B. B. Uh, you discover that one of your scrolls is for the spell Arms of Hadar. Yeah. You discover that one of your scrolls is for the spell Armor of Agathus. Okay. Ah, shit. <laughs> you want trade? <laughs> <laughs> you, not, you will not Mine. find this out for uh, until the trip back. Um, <laughs> you do not have this information currently. That is for later you. Oh, do you want me to identify this stuff? <laughs> Unless you want to identify it right now, in which case. Yeah. I can guess identify, but I probably won't until we are returned. Oh, yeah. You cost money. <laughs> Never mind that. I don't have that. Anyway. Um, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're here. You got a you got a dead uh, mage of some sort, and you've got a headless body and a dead eldritch slug kind of splatted up against the wall. Is there anything? Oh, it's an eldritch slug. It's covered in writhing eyes and mouths. Voila. That could be a former cult member. Are you just stabbing all the eyes? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> stab, stab, stab. Uh, you suddenly see the invisibility finally wears off as, <laughs> and you just see uh, Min Woo just rhythmically going through. And, oh, like, Min Woo, you're back! Hey, kid, how you doing? Now I can see his face. Oh my right. God, what happened to your face? <laughs> if it wasn't so long. Oh my <laughs> God! another DUI, <laughs> but I'm not going to give one out right before 10 p.m. 
Um. Wait, how old are you? None of your God's damn business. Well, like with all the kid talk and just like trying to see ages here right now. Old enough. Old enough, okay. Cool, I'm 37, I, I don't know. <laughs> Congratulations. Cool. Anyway, you would think you would have more of like a dais. Like this seems like a very poor setup to just leave it on a crate. Yeah, that's that's true. Well, I mean, you see what he did to all the other cultists around here. I mean, even then, the upstairs mansion didn't look too bad. I feel like if you had like a small little table, that would be nicer. But to just put it on some crates, I feel like that's very neglectful. He did turn his butler into slow. a hooker. Yeah, yes. uh, this is not the height of professionalism. Arcana check plus your proficiency bonus. You got everyone so paranoid about picking which d20 to use. That wasn't it. Uh, <laughs> plus proficiency? Mm -hmm. 12. 12. Um, you're looking around at this and you notice again these four very large crystals that are set mm -hmm. into this circle. Oh yeah, shinies! And you're kind of looking at those and um, you're not, you're not quite sure what's up, but you're definitely getting the bad vibes from those. Okay. They are no longer pulsing and glowing like they were when Marcos was casting the ritual, but um, they they do not they do not seem like something that maybe should just stay here and hang out in a clearly ritual magic circle. Are they inset? in anything they are, are they size the large op large objects that have been half embedded into the ground i'm gonna take out my crowbar okay and i'm just gonna whack them uh strength check as hard as i can this is, so is not this very hard, hard but hard. it's not horribly hard do it like carol Baskin. two whack. two um <laughs> you feel it reverberate. You do not take any damage, but that's, that thing's sturdy. Uh, Tamla, can I get you help with this? With what? We want to definitely shatter these. They're not good. Shatter them? Shatter them. Um, if it explodes, am I going to... Is it going to explode? Is it going to explode? <laughs> I mean, in the way that breaking anything that is glass or crystalline could potentially... I mean, in the way that like... breaking anything glass or crystalline <laughs> is potentially... But, you know, just shield your eyes a bit. Do you have goggles? I've got goggles. I go in the briefcase I'm holding and out of my, like, jeweler's <laughs> kit, I grab some goggles and I hand them to Tom. Like, put them on your face. Okay. Put them on your face. Takes it, puts them on. Okay, good. Is this just good? lower my goggles on, adjust them. Okay. Is this book I'm ready. speech? Because it seems weird with the title and everything. I, I don't know. Um, it is written in Celestial. Oh. But there are a bunch of notes written in the margins about little papers that are tucked in that are written in um, uh, deep speech and infernal. Uh, okay, I can read some of that then. Mm -hmm. I'm going right. to smash a, a crystal as well. Yeah, yeah right. Why not? Smashy, smashy. I'm going to try he again. Uh, you can do these as uh, straight hey. or attack rolls or whatever. 24. Oh, attack rolls. Yeah, I'll Great. Do. I'll give oh, myself an advantage. 24. 18. Ah, uh, balls. Uh, 18. 18. With a 14. crowbar. Those will all hit. Does it have a table of contents or a glossary for <laughs> planar travel ritual? Do you read Celestial? I read Celestial. Um, this does uh, seems to be filled with arcane lore about the stars and planes of existence. It doesn't yeah. really have travel directions. Uh, um, so every roll damage on your here. attacks. With? D6. With whatever you used, your weapon, your oh, fish. Oh, Nine. Oh, that was such a good you know, roll. Honestly, you're not under threat. Uh, I'll say that you guys can just take the time to do this or whatever. Uh, Tamalak, obviously you very swiftly just blitz through this thing. No what? Um, oh. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Takes I'll the rest wait. of you a little longer. Devin is like flipping through this book in great fascination. Anything to fix our friend upstairs? Um. Oh my God, I love you for asking. <laughs> uh, nothing specific, nice. but you all get the sense that the uh, now that you have stopped this guy from summoning far realms, like making contact with the far realms, now that you have destroyed these crystals that allowed him to contact other planes, you feel like at the very least nothing else is going to happen and some of the things that have happened can be reversed or dealt with. Don't step on the rug when we go upstairs. <clears throat> 
Anything on his body? <laughs> Does he have anything? Does Going have anything? full murder hobo here. <laughs> He's gonna well. raid his body because you know, James hardly ever does. You that. know the kids upstairs. They were wanting to do this type of stuff. Well, maybe we, this will. Maybe we tell them this is what happens to people who mess well, with stuff. Well, maybe if we leave the shouldn't. body there. Yeah. She then they'll. We scare them straight. You know, we, we, we take them in, we, we make up a fake ritual circle. We show them what happens when uh, they do bad magic. I'll show them what happens. Tumblr <laughs> walks over to Marcos and cuts his head off. Um, as you do that, you do look down and you see that his features have sort of shifted that sort of like you, you know you know how there's like there's like the wild and crazy like he definitely had like crazy mage vibes he kind of now he just he he's looks changed like, back he into a just, child he's not a child <laughs> but he does just look like a normal old man i take his head that's fine okay uh yeah cool you've got a head you guys stuff um it looks like anything else of value is not down here i got my bag of potatoes i'm good <laughs> Now let's go and show the children on the second floor what happened. Don't mess with bad magic. Kill them. I'm gonna teach them a lesson. You guys are able to make your way back <laughs> upstairs and open the door where you see that Xander and Kira are still sitting slash lying, very still on the floor, tied up where you told them to stay. They're sort of like quietly talking to each other, and then as soon as that door opens, their like eyes get big and they just get really quiet and they just kind of both look at you. Hey. Oh. oh, just say, hey kids, we did what we needed to come here and do. Uncle Tamalock here is gonna show you something. Choose a better path. Okay. And don't mix up your reagents. <laughs> okay. He kind of walks through the door, just stands there, looks around. And like tosses the head to them at the circle, and then turn, <laughs> turns around and closes the door as he exits. Uh, you hear the sound of uh, someone vomiting. <laughs> uh, oh, hey. Stuart opens the door, cast prestidigitation. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, and then goes in and uh, untie, yeah, yeah, unties. Good. Okay. Yeah. No. By the way, you guys For can effect. leave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, We're okay. done. Okay, I, uh, do you, do we need to do anything else? We're not, we're just gonna leave. We're not even gonna go get our stuff from the other room because oh, you he, should... there might be the ooze in there and he's kind of grumpy. So we're just gonna go home. We'll definitely cool. clear out this area. I mean, there's- yeah, this Oh, I, I mean, we'll, we'll dispel any uh, remaining magical effects or anything. No, not dispel. There's a lot of good materials here. I mean, you want a fresh start, right? Are we allowed to take it with us? I kind of yeah. got the impression that Uncle Tamalak was going to kill us if we took anything, so we no. were just going to leave it. No, no, no just that's... if you really mess up. So there's a college that you should totally go to if you're interested in magic, and they have loads of scholarships. Oh. In fact, if you come by, and I'm going to give them a card of mine. If you come by my shop, I can help you get started with some scholarships and also, you know, some work on the side. If you want to okay, do some okay, work study. Yeah, that sounds, we could talk about that. That seems pretty cool. Okay, um, yeah. Yeah, I definitely like to not uh, accidentally hurt people with things that are not yep. meant to hurt people. Yep. So. That'd be good. Cool, thank you. What village is that you're returning to? It's on the edge of Chult. Name. You're not gonna have heard of it. Try me. Uh, 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 she gives you the name of the village. I'll be seeing you. Okay. And remember, evil magic, liches get stitches. And then closes the door. <laughs> <laughs> I Why like... do they keep closing the door while we're still in here? <laughs> <laughs> they just look at you like, are we, are we really allowed to no, go? No, you're home? really, you're, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> they just, okay. They're busy with this. Look, we did, we, we, it was supposed to be a summer internship. We didn't know it was Yeah, like, make sure you do better research next time. Yeah, we, um, I'm not gonna lie, we skipped the, uh, we skipped the, uh, Sending Stone Literacy class. Um, we thought it was just a dumb part of orientation, so we definitely- No, you always, uh, see, I, I do a good Sending Stone Literacy. You gotta come, you gotta come hang out with me, you gotta come work with me. As Xander passes by, <laughs> Tomlock grabs him by the bicep <laughs> and digs into his pouch and he puts a gold piece in his hand and says, 
by Sam Amid on me. Okay. You bet <laughs> Sam. Okay, go, we're going. <laughs> All right, before we have to head back, shall we head pillage this? I was going to say, I'd like to pillage the office. <laughs> <laughs> Just up and down, like, we all, okay. you and I know why Minwoo wants money. Yes. So, yeah, let's get some money. All right. Devin um, will be up with Salia going over the book to see if there's anything. Uh, yeah, you guys can oh. go set up there. Zala. You look through. Uh, Zala? Zala. 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 Right. Um, cool. Uh, everybody just roll me a flat d20. Beans. I love dice. Because the oh, oh, shit. <laughs> that one didn't even go in the box, <laughs> god damn it. Because here's the thing. What I'm, the not, I'm not going to start another combat, but there is still a bunch of shit in here that's going to try to kill you if you guys just immediately start going through. Yeah, just a flat d20? So <laughs> 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 That Six. one. That, that one. one. That one. Six. Six. Sixteen. Sixteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Shut Cool. Here's what happens. I went to the safe place. No, no, no. Here's what happens. You guys spread out to start just going through. You know certain places to be wary of and things to avoid. Like nobody steps on the rugs in <laughs> like any of the rooms. Like you know, you know better than to look at some of these. You know to watch out for ooze on the floor. You've been given enough clues on this. Uh. Minwoo and Tamalak, you guys throw open a door. Oh god, I have to see if I can find the right one. Um, which floor is it on? Second, I know which one probably. I'm thinking of. Where is it? Second one's pretty bad. Uh, you guys throw open a door. You see this weird pyramid-shaped lump of possibly flesh? Question mark. Throw two tentacles at you, and right before those two tentacles start to hit you, you disappear, and you find yourself standing in the forest outside the walls near the camp of the adventurers. You would have seen like the trident right in front of you. It was like, oh, oh, wow. Uh, okay. What? Stuart, you had a five? Six. You had a six. You uh, kick open uh, a door. Uh, you know that there was that hidden room on the first floor. You're looking for it. You pop open the door to the dining room. You see this weird little like not fully developed like tadpole looking thing starts skittering towards you and right before it gets to you, teleport, you find yourself standing in the forest next to the- It's these. a child, you could have killed it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the codex? Good codex. No, no, I'm asking them, no. No, um, no, no. Oh, Sloan. Yeah. Uh, you uh, <laughs> try to do a slightly more uh, a, a careful assessment. You're kind of looking for like, Treasures and gems and things. Definitely jewels. Uh, definitely looking for jewelry. Um, along a shelf in one of the hallways, you see kind of like a mantle with some little boxes and things. Um, you uh, scoop a couple of these little boxes. They're like little enamel trinket boxes. Uh, those will be worth 150 GP if you sell them. Mm -hmm. And Devon. You're setting up with Zala going through the Celestial Cotex. Uh, and she's looking and she's like, I, I mean, I don't I don't think any, honestly, I don't think any of this is gonna directly help me, but it is fascinating reading. I'm like, I, I you know, like, I, I do feel a little just lighter in general. I don't, um, you know, it, this isn't my best form. This isn't my best uh, world, but I, I feel like maybe I can I can figure something out, right? And one, now that Marcos isn't continuously like opening the oh, threshold, oh yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, yet. I think I think maybe I can find some way to like to reset this, right? You know, I didn't I didn't you know why are you guys doing this? Oh well, I'm I'm trying to personally uh, get off the prime material plane. Really? Why would you want to leave? Ooh, uh, it's not, it, it's not the the same uh, as when I was first here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to get back out. I, I, I'm not uh, suited for this world. It's not for everyone, I guess. Uh, and I, I made, I met some great extra planar uh, entities. They, they were very helpful. No strings. I mean, I'm sure they're not all bad. Just mm. the one that he was talking to. This, uh, Carl Clavar. <laughs> God, yeah. it's still happening. Why? Knock it off! I just, well, thanks for your help. Mm -hmm. Uh, why don't you take your book, go, uh, turn it in, get what you need, and, uh, maybe someday I'll see you again when I've got boobs and a buffon. Well, hopefully I won't be here. Oh, no, I would also like to, I'm planning to leave as, yeah. as soon as possible. Why 
to take this with you. Just, uh, maybe I'll help you. Uh, and she unpins, like, a brooch from her cloak and reaches up and pins it onto... Next to my your... brooch with the stars. Yes, next to your brooch with the stars. She pins a little another one on you. Uh, oh, yeah, if you're ever out there, keep an eye out for the, the wanderer. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Um, this uh, brooch has the same function as a ring of jumping. Okay. So... Uh, and suddenly, as you're talking, you you feel that warm tingle. Oh, that warm uh, tingle. It's time. It's time. It, it was a pleasure. It's all right. Nice to nice to meet you. And you see yourself, uh, Sloane. You as well, suddenly teleport uh, as you are all standing in the forest, very near where you originally. <gasps> Bigger writing. Ah. Well, I guess you're not dead. Do you have the, the codex? Oh, oh, there it is. Let's uh, return it and get our money. Where is Hyson? Is there a a land vehicle nearby <laughs> with which I have proficiency? <laughs> uh, 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 perception check. Sure. Hey guys, can you uh, look out for like a land vehicle of some kind, like a fucking like a like a cart or something? I rolled a two. Like a horse. <laughs> Ooh. I also it rolled didn't a roll two. Good. Uh, Twenty-one. Damn it. <laughs> And that's all the way by you. <laughs> that die is in perma jail now. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Sloan, you look around. Uh, you don't see it right away. You hear it first. The sound of horses and a wagon pulling up. Um, and you can see through the trees. Because again, you guys were dropped like within sight of the road, but a little bit off it. Oh, would that be Lady Tiger? Uh, you see a cart and a wagon pull up with a driver that some of you are in fact familiar with. As Dave waves to you, she's like, hey! hey! Guys, um, I heard you all needed a ride. It's Dave. How's it going, Dave? Uh, it's going fine. Haven't been up here in a long time. Uh, everybody, uh, Hobbit, you need snacks? I got snacks in the back, little tiny water Ooh. bottles. Yeah, little you, wine bottles. Do you want a break? Mini bar. Cheese. You want you want cheese? Or it's got cheese. Uh, it? I mean, if you want to, if you want to sit in front, we can like trade off. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, let's do uh, it. Um, yeah. Uh, you see, as he's saying this, uh, Hyacinth like pops up over the edge and grins at you guys. Like, look at me. No, oh. you were right. <laughs> look at that cutie. So cute. I'm going to hop up in the front with Dave. Cool. You hop in the front with Dave. The rest of you are able to hop into the back. There is indeed a basket with small snack sized portions of like cheese crackers, uh, candy, little tiny like water flasks, little tiny wine flasks. Uh, hey, Devin, cheese. pass me some of that cheese. Yeah, this cheese makes me gassy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, Such an old man. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I hope we teleport out of here. <laughs> I, d I mean, I, is that, does everybody face. feel, I mean, I can do the teleport. We can dimension door this if you want to. I just noticed oh. some people sick. Would you prefer to fast travel? I think a nice, like, travel through the woods. I mean, wine first. Pleasant after <laughs> all the <food. laughs> You just ate that. <laughs> I stared at him expectantly at Stuart. No, no, no. He had the mac and cheese from the kitchen. Oh, yeah. That's the kitchen mac. <laughs> <laughs> As you make your way, yeah, I'm down definitely leaning out of it to pass the cheese up to you. It's not been closed. It's an open wagon. You're fine. Oh my uh, god! As you make your way uh, make more. back down the road, out of the mountains, and back toward the Sword Coast, and that is where we will end this adventure. Congrats, I everyone. I guess. <laughs> 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 Give yourself a DUI. <laughs> uh, probably. Well, thank you all for joining us. This concludes Reach for the Stars, which is the level three module from Keys for the Golden Vault. Thank you all for playing. This was awesome. You can level up your characters to level four. <gasps> um, or whatever level we see you at next, because as is the case with this game, we will be back next week with a different set of heisters for a fully different heist. Who knows what it will be? I do, because I read ahead. But <laughs> in the meantime, we have some other fun stuff coming up. Tomorrow is Wednesday, which means there will be a new episode of The Redacted Reports, found wherever fine podcasts can be podcasted. Next Monday, we will be airing episode two of our pre-recorded Spelljammer campaign, GM'd by our very own James Aaron O, and also featuring Thomas Cook making a delightful comeback with the now-promoted Lieutenant Undar. 
Everybody's favorite gif. Um, next week, we will be back with Keys from the Golden Vault here on Tuesday. This weekend, on Saturday at 2 p.m., different from the usual, we will be playing the Arena of the Five E's, our crazy melee battle supreme, where our patrons get to submit characters who are then played by random players, essentially drawn from a hat, against a mystery box of monsters. This uh, week's theme is Dragons in a Dungeon. So if you're around, tune into that and see what that is. Most of all, thank you all for being here, for supporting us. If you want to continue to support us, some things you can do that would be very helpful. Tell a friend who hasn't heard about us where to find us. Point them to our YouTube. If you want some background company, hop on that YouTube, turn off your ad blocker, and watch an episode of one of your favorites, whether it's catching up on this, catching up on the replay of Spelljammer, or whatever you need to catch up on. Um, and if you're feeling inclined, join our Patreon. Not only does that support us a lot, but it also uh, gives you some really fun bonuses like getting to submit characters for Guild of the Five E's and uh, hopefully uh, some fun background videos and things that won't come out to anyone else. Like the After Dark, which we are going to record right now. That's my word vomit spiel. Thank you all for still being here. We're gonna try to raid into somebody, so stick around and give them some love. And we will see you next time. Good night.